Jesus is very clear when he divides the commandments into two. The first commandment is love for whom? The first four, love for God. The next six, love for your fellow man. Follow me closely. In the Bible version, you have, have no gods before me, fine. That's for God. No images, good, that's for God. Don't take my name in vain, that's for God. Keep the Sabbath holy, that's for God. In the Catholic version, thou shalt have no other gods before me, that's for God, yes. Uh, don't take my name in vain, that's for God. Remember the Sabbath, that's for God. And the fourth one is, honor thy father and thy mother. Their first table has father and mother on it, which is not in the Bible version. Are you following me? Now, who is the father, spiritually, of a Catholic? The Pope. Where is the Pope? On what table is the Pope? Table one, which belongs to whom? God. Ah, you're not following me. Ah, you're not listening. Are you listening? <laughs> Listen to me. The devil is slick and smart and clever. Let me say it again. The commandment that says, honor thy father and thy mother, in the Catholic mind, spiritually, the mother is the Pope. The father is the Pope. You know who the mother is? Mary. And on what side of the table are they? God's side. Now that is in direct opposition to the plainly spoken. And God needs a people who will say, that's wrong. That is wrong. No human being belongs where God belongs. The first four show love to God. The last six love to a fellow man. And they're all connected. Yes. But Jesus says, this is the first commandment. You must, must love God above everything and everyone. And he says, if you love mother and father more than me, you're not worthy of me. In the Catholic version, mother and father are on God's side. And the whole world needs to see it. It's very plain, but no one sees it. And people just go along. 